فعاش القلب وإخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا If I'm a person who doesn't want to see growth, for example, in a certain aspect of my spiritual life, my religious life, for example, I will come for Salatul Jum'ah and that's it. And I wait for the next Jum'ah. But if I come for Jum'ah and the next time I make sure that I've come a little bit earlier, I've improved. I'm showing that I want growth. And this brings us to the next point. If you want the best deal, not only should you continuously do a deed, but you should think of ways of improving and start implementing. I give you an example of a sister, a sister who is, mashallah, starting to dress more appropriately. So, mashallah, when she comes to the masjid or when she goes for an Islamic program or when she goes, you know, to visit at the funeral home, etc., etc., you find she's covered properly. In her heart should be that I want this to be maintained throughout my life. I don't want it just to be an occasional correct dressing. I want it to be so correct that the day I die, no matter where I am, but I will be dressed correctly and I will have earned the pleasure of Allah because Allah knows my struggle with my own clothing. And this is why we are not allowed to judge people. When we say judge, we mean passing a judgment to say this man is bad, this woman is bad, because we don't know how the condition will be the day they, they end. And we don't know our condition the day we will end. So this is why it's of absolute and utmost importance for us to worry about ourselves. And this is another deal that would be really, really great when we are concerned more about ourselves than others. And the concern we have for others should only be a positive concern, not a negative concern. For example, if you see someone with a bottle, a beer bottle, for example, a true Muslim who wants the best deal out of it will firstly make a dua for the person, pray for them. And a person who's going to lose the deal is one who quickly tweets about it and puts it on WhatsApp and takes a picture without the person knowing that this person's with a bottle and wants to disgrace them on Facebook and everywhere else. What would happen? Not only would we lose a deal, but we would actually suffer a loss. However, we want to solve the problem. We will make a dua for the individual. We will continue. We will try our best and we will perhaps speak to them in a beautiful, direct manner. Brother, you know, two days ago I saw you and he'll tell you, I don't even start. You know, like I was giving an example. Once some years back, I saw a brother with a bottle in his hand. And you know, when I say bottle, what we're talking about. So when I looked at him and I asked him a question, or in fact, even before that, he tells me, hey, do you think there's alcohol in here? No, I use this for water. I said, okay, brother, don't worry. It's okay, it's fine. Because the message got across and the respect was there and he knew that what he was doing was wrong. But Alhamdulillah, the same brother, mashallah, he perhaps, I'd like to hope, has quit it completely because we've never ever seen that and it's not up to us. He doesn't owe that deed to me or you. He owes it to Allah. Remember this. He does not owe it to me or you. He owes it to Allah. So do not become a person who wants to play the role of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to condemn people and to bring them closer thinking that it's your duty and responsibility. No, your duty, my duty is to encourage people in a positive way. So to strike the best deal, we would need to be worried about our own weakness. When we see that, look, someone else is engaged in a weakness, we we can or we should contribute positively to try and help them. But it must humble us to think, what about my own weakness? And for your information, there is no human being that does not have a weakness. No human being. But the level of the weakness differs from person to person. That doesn't make you a saint, nor does it make you a person who's totally condemned. Because all it takes from a person who's been engaged in bad behavior is to repent to Allah, to turn to Him. And guess what? His sins are wiped out. This is how easy it is. And all it takes from a person who's been on the right path to become deviated is to slip once and to fall into the trap of the devil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not do that to us.